Hi Pisces, let's do a collective reading for you today. So today is the 18th of August, 2024. Let's see what's in the energy today for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Bad health. Official person. This may be you. Not feeling well. <clears throat> and mature woman. There could be someone in your energy not feeling well. You may be helping somebody. Someone may be helping you. This could be a boss. Someone that is official. Distant horizons. Could be someone that is moving towards you. I feel like you are the mature woman. You're someone that's wise. I feel like you sit back with these boundaries up. Pisces. The Queen of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. The King of Wands. The Empress. Center of your reading today, Pisces. The Hanged Man. Then you have the Nine of Cups. The Emperor, right underneath the Empress. The Five of Pentacles. And the Nine of Swords. On the back of the deck, you have the nine of, sorry, the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Two kings. You hear the kookaburras going off in the background there. Enjoy the kookaburras. It is the daytime here. You can hear people next door. Kookaburras. There is noise. Could be a lot of noise around you. Also, Pisces. A lot going on. What's the Queen of Pentacles? What's the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces? You have the devil. You have strength. And the Eight of Wands. Okay. So you have the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This could be a person. It doesn't actually have to be someone that's feminine. Tarot has no gender. Just someone that sits in this feminine energy of a nurturer, a giver. Now, this could also be you. Someone that is focused on the material world, but there's something that leaves them stuck. There's some type of strength that they need to push forwards to take action. I feel like this is another energy with the devil coming out, Capricorn. This is someone that feels stuck, okay? Someone that feels locked up, held back. 
you've got the eight of wands. I feel like this person wants to send some type of messages. This person does want to come this direction, but there's something that they look to that leaves them stuck. So whether it be um, someone in their life, uh, children, uh, commitment, work, I feel like this person does want to come the other way, but there's something that leaves them stuck, okay? There's something that they're giving to. What's the Nine of Pentacles? What is the Nine of Pentacles? You have the Tower, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. On the back of the deck, you've got the Queen of Cups. So the Nine of Pentacles being focused on the material world, there could have been something that happened. This person does want to come towards you, but there's something that holds them back, okay? As I said, that it could be something in the material world. This is someone that sits in receiver energy. But there was some type of tower moment, I feel, um, that sits behind you while you focus on the material world. Um, you may not see this energy and what's going on in their life because you are focusing on the material world you could be working with this person but i feel like there's something going on that you don't know about with the tower aries energy some type of tower moment that's happening in their life that they have no control over What is this King of Wands? What's the King of Wands here for Pisces? You have the Three of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the World. So there's some type of collaboration that you are working on at the moment, Pisces. Could be something in the material world, but this person is holding something back from you. You've got a king of wands here, fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person may want some type of reconciliation with you. I feel like this could be someone that lives at a distance. They've closed out a cycle. Capricorn energy, someone that holds back. This could be a family member. This could be someone that's creative. This is someone that goes for their dreams. Someone that's very attractive. Um, but they sit back and watch. They want to come forwards, okay? This person wants to come forwards. They see you doing something. This person's very attractive. I feel like this is someone from your past. What's the Empress? What is the Empress for Pisces? You have the Five of Pentacles. So you are the Empress, Taurus energy. You're someone that has this idea that you're trying to birth. Someone, something in the material world, possibly. You've got the Five of Cups. You could be on a mission to find something that you want also. You know, you could be focused on family. You're trying to find love. You're trying to find your king, okay? You're trying to find the emperor, your emperor. Someone that has these boundaries up, someone that's been looking for a long time. You know, this king of cups. I feel like you've been walking alone. I feel like this person isn't giving you much either. I feel like this is someone that you're collaborating with. I feel like you could be moving forwards towards them. Giving to this situation, you could also be holding your emotions back and working on something in the material world with this energy, doing what this person is doing, holding back. What's the hanged man? You've got the three of swords. The ace of swords. And the nine of pentacles. You've got the hanged man coming out, Pisces energy in the center of your reading here. There's someone here feeling stuck, okay? Someone feeling stuck, I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's this energy. 
With the hanged man coming out, someone that feels trapped in a situation, it could be a third party situation, okay? This person may come in and let you know about something about focusing on the material world, being single, not committing to this. This person is traveling forwards towards you. Slowly, this person I feel is getting feelings for you, but I feel with the hanged man coming out, there's something that's stopping them. There's something that leaves them stuck. I feel like they do want this new opportunity with you. But things aren't going the way that you want them to go, Pisces. What is the Nine of Cups? Things are going slower. There could be complications. What's the Nine of Cups? You have the Fool. The Magician. So taking a leap into this situation. And you've got the Four of Pentacles. So someone that's been holding back is going to let go. Okay, this this I feel like this is that person. Someone that has worked hard for this, this Nine of Cups, this wish fulfillment, okay? This person's worked hard to get to this position. I feel like they're going to let go. Um, they do want to come in towards you. You're looking very attracted to, sorry, very attractive to this person. With the full coming out, Aries Aquarius energy, they are going to take some type of leap, leap into a new beginning with the Magician. Virgo could be significant. I feel like this person's been looking for a long time for this wish fulfillment. And they find it in you, okay? But there is these complications here. What is the Emperor? You have the Ten of Pentacles. So this person could be coming together to collaborate with you. You could have family with them. They may want to come in and have family. There's something about working together. The moon, Pisces, Cancer energy. And the king of swords. They are going to make the decision, okay? I feel logically they know that they need to get out of their head and come forwards. With the Emperor coming out, Aries energy could be significant. It doesn't have to be. This person could be a father. This person could be, you know, an official person. I feel like this person wants to come together and work with you. They need to get out of their head. They are getting out of their head emotionally about the situation and logically choosing you. With a King of Swords, this person might be someone, as I said, that's a boss, a leader, someone that doesn't show emotion. Air could also be significant, but this is part of their path, okay? They're coming along this path. They're meant to go on this path. They're getting pulled by divine this is part of divine timing, I feel, for this energy. What is the Five of Pentacles? You've got the Two of Cups. The Hierophant. And the Six of Swords. So, Pisces, with the Five of Pentacles, this person's committed to walking with you, okay? They're committed to walking with you no matter where you go. I feel like they've found their divine partner, okay? Someone that they feel they have, like, a connection to. There's, like, this travel that's going to be happening, and I feel like... After the past, after the turbulent past, there will be calm. There's some type of commitment with the Hierophant. They're committed to walking with you no matter where you go. In the cold, in the light.
What is the Nine of Swords? You have the Six of Wands. The Nine of Wands. Temperance. Something about conflict. I keep seeing the Five of Swords, so something about conflict. Um, someone wanting to win a situation. The number 2-2 two, two could be coming out too. 2-2-2, two, 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 you could be seeing that. You may, I feel like with the Nine of Swords, someone's in their head, okay? Someone's in their head about this. Whether it's going to be successful, whether it's going to be equal. You've got Temperance coming out, Sagittarius energy. Because it's something new. This person could be, as I said, a boss, a leader. I feel like this is going to be protected. I feel like you're going to protect this also because this person walks in the Six of Wands energy. I feel like you're worried that this could be something that's going to end, but I don't feel like it's going to with temperance. This is going to be like equal give and take in this situation. People wanting to work together. Uh, to give to one another, to walk with one another, to trust in one another. Sagittarius energy is also significant here. So Pisces, let's do these two cards on the back of the deck for what you don't see. You've got two kings coming out. So let's see what this is for you. What's the King of Cups? You have the King of Pentacles. So King of Cups, Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, someone that could be holding back their emotions. You've got the Queen of Pentacles. So you've got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. And the Fool. So this person is going to take a leap of faith. You've got the Queen of Swords on the back of the deck. I feel like this person looks at you like that Queen of Swords, but I feel like this person may have been through a lot in their past, okay? This is someone that holds back their emotions from you, someone that doesn't show emotion. There could be some type of collaboration. You could be married. You could have children with this person, but there is a, there's a divine pair coming out here, the King and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're focused on the material world here. You're giving, there's this king, he watches you, that boss energy, someone that's stable in the material world could have earth in their chart. But there's like this taking a leap with the card zero, the fool, a new cycle, taking a new leap of faith and love. This person's been holding back how they feel. What's the King of Pentacles? You have the Seven of Swords. The Three of Wands. And the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> King of Pentacles, this is another energy. Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus could be significant. This is someone that 
ghost you. I feel like they want to come back. You've got that three of wands. You see that boat coming. They could live at a distance, but this is you. This is you standing there. I feel with the King of Pentacles coming out, I also feel, you know, you're working on stability. You want stability in your life. You're focused on the material world. You're getting out of your emotions with the situation that you left in the past. But I feel like this person still thinks about you. I feel like they see you in this Queen of Swords energy. You know, with the Queen of Swords, is an also, it's also an X card, okay? Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone that's been through a lot. So I feel like when you end up choosing someone, the past is going to come back. I feel and try and test you. Um, I also feel, you know, they see that you have left the situation. But Pisces, you know, there's a pair here. You know, you could be collaborating with this person. There's two people ready to give equal to each other, okay? Ready to walk with each other no matter what, no matter what the weather. <clears throat> it's like this helping, this healing of these two energies. She's nurturing. He's a boss. Pisces, let's grab out some music messages for you now. Two music messages for Pisces. More than a feeling, Boston. Gimme all your lovin', ZZ Top. Those kookaburras. They sound beautiful, don't they? <clears throat> One card for Pisces. You have Halls of Amenti Initiations. Secrets revealed. Treasures uncovered. Initiations. So initiations are like, you know, the beginning of some type of new journey, some type of new group, a new tribe. Uh, new commitment, there is a treasure being uncovered and there will be some type of secrets being revealed, sorry, being revealed, which you will see very soon, okay? You and that energy, they're going to reveal some secrets. Okay, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless, so if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. I am also doing personal readings, so if you'd like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. But I love you all so much. Thank you all for being here, and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.